it's a type of baby. I swear to God, if you say baby oil. <laughs> I love how he knew I was gonna, I said the same shit. <laughs> what's good, what's cracking, what's happening? Yup, this is Mr. Blade Franco here. And today we are trying out WrestleQuest, a game that is based on a mixture of wrestling, RPG, and strategy. Now, all together, this should work out for me. This is one of my favorite type of games, one of my favorite type of ideas. It's mixed all three of my favorite type of things. You know, enough talking, let's get it. Welcome to the toy room where every action figure, toy miniature, and plushies dream of wrestling greatness. Okay. Ha, <laughs> Jake the Snake. From the board game jungles of Jumanji. Diamond Dallas Page, bang, <laughs> to the windy winds of the Great North. Oh yeah, yo! So as a wrestler head, everything's in. The man Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> Every toy lives, breathes, and craves wrestling. Practice their slams and paying homage to legends that came before them. Yo, definitely. I, I really like the game of this shit so far. It already drawn me in. <laughs> hey, my boy comrade. <laughs> many tales of creativity and imagination have sprung from the toy room, and many fabled battles have been taking place here, both in and out of the ring. One such tale and its many battles, both of the plastic and of the heart, is about to begin. And the quest of this size takes not one hero, but two. Yo, I can I just say right now, I really like the fact how it's like, these men all really do have real life podcasts with, with Comrade. And I really like the fact how Wrestle, WrestleQuest made them all together, <laughs> even in the game podcasting. That's, that's crazy. Let's see who's making their way to the ring. The legend himself. R.I.P. Macho. What the f Oh yeah! We're about to see the cream of the cream rise to the top. So if you want to find me, don't look sideways. Don't look behind you. Just look up. Stone Age Cotton. I like the name. Not bad. No way, Macho Man. Forfeit the match and give me that championship belt to the rightful owner. Me. Listen, lizard. You gotta earn this belt with your madness in the ring. It only belongs to the best, yeah. That's why I'll be the champ for a long time, dig it? 10,000 years as world champion. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm having fun with this. Oh, y'all, y'all fed up fighting me, letting me find this game. <laughs> Are those shades a little too dark? Can't you see I have this place rigged to blow? I'm having fun. Explosives don't scare me, you stitched up cotton ball. You can't win by cheating. You always think you're such a hero, don't you, Macho Man? You can't win when the deck is stacked against you this bad. And that's the bottom thread, because Stone Age said so. Okay, I get it now. I get it. I like it. I get it. <laughs> I wish I knew that sooner. I would've got the voice right. Can't win? Stone Age? You are just the grain of sand in the desert of Macho Man. Oh, yeah. Now that was cool. That was, I like that. That, sh that was nice for an intro. Wow, wow, wow. Did you guys see that? Forget it, Randy. We'll never get tickets this late. Come on, we can still wrestle outside. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. I respect the backyard ring. Go for it, Randy. Oof. Good thing this isn't the plastic mattress. Man, how do the pros do some of those high-flying moves without hurting each other? Oh, trust me, they hurt each other. A lot. Are you kidding me? It's all fake, dude. Can someone drop peanut on its head before I hear that again? <laughs> what? Watch your mouth. Yeah, peanuts, shut it. You really think it's real? Really? Of course it's real. <laughs> it's about as real as, to as Todd. Hey, counterfeit toys are still real, damn it. <laughs> I had to wrote, I had to add the damn it. Shut up, Todd. And you, Randy, even if wrestling was real, which it isn't, you'll never be a pro. No kid from our town ever could, could be. You couldn't be more wrong. Wrestling is real, and I'll be the greatest champion ever. Oh, see. Oh, see. Is that how he does it? I, I could be wrong. I don't know how he does his catchphrase. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to lie. This gameplay is so good. I might already want to just make a long let's play, but I'm, I'm going to try not to. <laughs> ah, yes. The new outfit feels stupendous. But I better get out of the main part of the gym. Mr. Stretch wants me to train the new students. All right. The radar on the bottom corner will help you stay on course. Icons will appear here for quest objectives, shops, and healing. When in doubt, look here to keep slamming in the right direction. Okay, okay. Now I'm playing this on controller just to be safe, but you know, you can't play this on, on, on your keyboard and mouse because this is for PC. But I really like this. I like the story of how they started off and everything. That that really got me. This is my domain. Johnny Stretch. There you are, Randy. Get in the ring and show these greenhorns the ropes. You got it, Mr. Stretch. Okay, okay. All right, rookies. You want to learn how to wrestle? You want to discover how to win the crowd's loyalty and hear their the chance shake the very foundation of the universe? You want to become a coiled spring of excitement, the most electrifying thing the world of wrestling has ever seen? I like this guy. I don't want your excuses. Man, this is downright poetic. Then you are in the right place. Take some notes and soak it in. All right, we look like we finally get to try this game out. Oh, I can't wait. So we got a hype meter, we got the crowd ready. Okay. On your turn, you can strike, taunt, use an item, or use a gimmick. Okay, okay. Let's practice our strikes first. So it's A to strike. Strike brutal hands. Whenever you strike, you can earn some extra damage if you're able to match the button prompts. Try it now. Okay. OC, nice job. Oh, I like this. It really does have an RPG feel. Okay, I could really fuck with this. I'm already intrigued with the story. The RPG already kind of got me. Let's, let, let's see. Let's see. Most attacks have a chance to send your opponent to the ropes. Try it, amigo. After knocking them into the ropes, you'll have a chance for a follow-up attack. Do it now. Okay, okay. I like this. Okay. Nicely done. Check out your height meter down at the bottom. This is a measure of how pumped up the crowd is in your favor. You can raise the height meter by mixing up your attacks and nailing bu button prompts. Okay. Okay, I gotta be a little quicker with the button prompts, but I'm just learning right now. Hype up the crowd for extra damage and even to eligible some powerful moves. One way you can build hype is to use your taunt option. This will generate hype equal to two plus your influence. Ooh, I like that, okay. All that grandstanding will leave you vulnerable though, and you'll take an extra 25% damage for one round. Try taunting now. Ooh, that's risky, but okay, I see it, I see. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Taunted is risky, but you can help, but it can help you build hype quickly. 
sorry if I sound like I'm fucking up a lot of talking. Took an energy drink, and this game got me a little hype. So hype plus hype means I might fuck up a lot of words. I'm sorry. Beware, though. If the hype meter dips in your enemy's favor, they'll gain extra power instead. Speaking of extra power, let's try out a gimmick. These are special abilities and wrestling moves. Okay. Ooh, okay, so we got a list. South of the Border Stunner. I like the name. Prepare for tag team and pin. Okay, so we got definitely a bunch of different things. And we got different things for tag teams, triple threat tags, manager, and summon. I like it. That's nice. So we got variety all over this. I like that. That was nice. <laughs> such power, such strength, such machismo. I'll knock you out. Wow. What happened if you failed the prompt after knocking the enemy into the ropes? Then the enemy will use that momentum against you, so you better nail it. Okay. Is the only way to, of beating an opponent is to make them lose all of their HP? Dios mio, no. In fact, most other wrestlers you will face will have to be pinned. Obvious. I'm very happy with this tutorial. It's definitely letting me get to learn everything. See how these, this guy looks weak and ready to drop? We call this state fatigue. You can fatigue enemy by bringing them to a low HP. Some abilities may also fatigue enemies as a debuff. Let's send him to the mat with a strike. See, I was a little quicker on that now. Okay. Now this enemy is fallen. When your opponent is on the mat like this, he is ready to be put into submission. The pin option will be available in the gimmicks menu. To successfully pin them, you will have to hit the button when the indicator is in the green zone. All right, this is something from WB2K, so I can I can work with this. Nice, nice. Now the enemy is down and out. If you fail the pin attempt, your, can, your, your enemy will kick out and recover some HP. You can always attempt to pin him again after damaging him. Every pin attempt you, you do will get easier. Okay, that's good. So that's like more just like the actual wrestling matches. The more you attempt the pins, the little bit more of a chance you got the victory. Okay. Be on your guard though, Tipo. Enemy wrestlers can also pin you if you get too weak. Once you are pinned, there is no coming back. Okay, okay, okay. Also, note that not all enemies will need to be pinned. Only wrestlers and other tough guys. Okay. Wait, then what else am I going to be facing? No, for real, that got me a question now. Who else am I going to be facing if it only works with those two? All right, either way, my boy Randy leveled up. I like how they got him in the toy box too. That's pretty cool. So. From what I can see, it is based off, you know, copying the wrestlers that we're all fans of and we know of as well as some fresh in-game wrestlers. But you also could level up during every game, which is good, just like any RPG. The gameplay already seems pretty good just from the tutorial. So let's see how we do when we go down the line a little bit more. And that covers the basis of wrestling. Strike and slam your opponent and be sure to hit those button prompts for extra damage. Beat them up enough and they'll be softened up for a pin. Remember to keep things exciting and interesting to keep the crowd engaged so that you can retain control over the hype meter. Thanks, Randy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm about to say Matt Riddle came to mind. Thanks, Randy. Um, okay. Why don't you lend a hand with the other greenhorns around? When you're done, come see me in the AV room for some lessons with the other advanced students. Okay. Press me to toggle run. Oh, nice, nice. I like it. What's with the ladder? Are they repairing something? The only thing they're fixing is the lack of spice in this matchup. Many battles, including some kind of extra scheme or rules, these themes amp up the challenge and the crowd. For a special match, obtaining victory is a matter of playing by the rules of this match. What's wrong with that guy? Did he drink a bad slam shake? I'm afraid not, amigo. He's suffering from a Status effect. 
Many abilities add lingering effects that can help or harm you. Vain means you are particularly influenced by the crowd's behavior. You are less powerful when the crowd is negative towards you. Okay, so that's a showman. The dreaded hype dream will cause you to generate less hype with each action. I'm not pronouncing that. I don't know all bits of Spanish. I'm going to just let you know that. I know a few, not everything. Mint condition toys are super valuable and well, well protected, taking 50% less damage. Ooh, so they're mint condition. They're like, so I can say like powerhouses, because that's pretty much like a powerhouse. Generate twice as much hype with each action when you are vibing. Oh, okay. Burning units lose 50%, no, lose 5%, I'm so sorry, of their HP every turn. There are many more status effects, but be sure to stack up on healing items and, or wear gear that protects you. Yo, this is truly a RPG all in a wrestling form. I really like this. Lowplex. That actually, that's a that's a good name, Lowplex. I'm sorry. Who knew a gut buster would be so gut busting? Ugh. I'm gonna say this right now. Wrestling is predetermined, but the moves they go through is real. The pain they go through is real. So if you ever say wrestling is fake, just remember it's not fake. It's just scripted on results. Other than that, it's real pain in the matches. Hmm. What torso should I choose? It is really all about the fridge. Fridge's opponent is important, but you should also consider the materials that the torso is made of. Each material re reacts differently to the many types of elemental damage out there. If you know what element your enemy is going to use, you can prepare for- You got elements in outfits? Okay, now this game is really good. This shit is advanced as fuck. I like it. I can't see what they are. Oh, I would love to see what they are. That does say British Bulldog. My fault. The, the T and the I got crossed up. All right. Who here knows the secret to pumping up the crowd? I do. It's baby oil. I should slap you. Come on, Leonard. How many times do I have to tell you that baby oil is not the answer to everything? You know what? Get out of here. Go do some burpees until you puke. Sir, you can pump up the crowd by showing your spice in the ring. Very good, Randy. But what about before you get in the ring? I'll tell you. You gotta get on the mic and cut a promo so hot will ignite the crowd and burn your opponent to ash. How do you do this? Part of it is knowing your, en your enemy, and part of it is being fast on your feet. Time to try it, Randy. Come on, come on up here. Ooh, okay, I get to do promo classes. Let's see this. Let's see how you do with a rapid fire session. Okay, I gotta be quick, I gotta be quick. Uh, let's see. Randy is, uh, he has a stupid name. Bruh. Sorry, I did a basic one. All right. Randy is so weak, even I can see that he doesn't stand a chance of winning. Okay, that's a good response. That might be true for snakes and ladders, but you're here to wrestle, so you're going down. Okay, that worked. That was good. I'm going to crack candy Santos over here like a sugar cookie. Okay, okay. Well, you should be more careful with all that sugar and candy or you'll get diabetes. And I'm going to... Wait, that was a bad one? Okay, okay. So I see it really does like you got to really think exactly what right words would work. So, OK, I like that. You see, class, you can generate hype before a big match by flexing on the mic. If you want to see more, I have an old match here on on the TV between the lock, the Luke Locador, the Luchador. I want to say Luchador, but that doesn't say Luchador and Dash Town back when the Luchador was still part of P-A-W. All right, you slam junkies, get back to work. Except for Randy, I got a job for you. What is it, Mr. Stretch? There's a guy from the Boxwood Extreme Wrestling. I like that. A local wrestling league over at the Macho Man statue. You know it? Do I ever? Great. This B-E-W wrestler needs help with his gimmick. You'll know him when you see him. He's kind of between styles. Okay, face paint and handshakes. I like this. this. This game really goes a lot in in between, like you know, mimicking a lot of what really goes down in wrestling, like behind the scenes. 
check out your current objectives and past accomplishment in the quest tracker. This tool will provide a summary of your quest and provide directions on where to go next. Press RT to bring up a, UT, a UI panel in the overworld as a helpful reminder of what you should be doing. Go to the Macho Man statue to the east to meet a local wrestler in need of aid. Okay, nice. But yeah, this this game definitely looks nice, yo. Let's let's take a look at the environment before I land to the next mission. Pre-built places, giant weapons, a random briefcase. Okay, that's B E W. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I might get really immersed in this game. This might be a full-on let's play. Cream Macho Man statue. His savage wrestling style and his deep, bravely voice. Macho Man Randy Savage is quite possibly the most iconic legend of wrestling. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Celebrating 29 title reigns across his 32 year career, Macho Man was not just a celebrated champion, but a long standing crowd favorite as well. Whether cutting exciting promos or delivering incredible and theatric, flying elbow drops with his elbow drops was the best by the way randy savage won fans and accolades everywhere he went even today savage is revered by fans and wrestlers alike with his story inspiring generation after generation it's no secret that only someone like macho man can make the entire wrestling world stand up and say oh yeah it's truly something, isn't it? Eh, I always was more of a fan of guys that wore face paint. Though that time Jake the Snake trapped Macho Man in the ropes and attacked him with the Cobra that would go over big in BEW. BEW? Wait, you're the guy I'm here to meet? I'm from the training gym, I'm here to help. Great, so you see, I can't quite decide which way to go. Should I be a vibrant and exciting or dark and brewing? I think dark and brewing fits BEW better, but I just love using bright colors. That's respectful. I, I get it. I get it. I've got to pick something that will fit with the vibe of the other guys or the writers won't know how to use me. Writers? Forget it. Look, you can just go to the face paint shop for me. They have some samples I want to try out. Sure. Face paints. So the writers will like you. Poor thing. Blabbing about writers. He must be delusional. I always, I always thought that was a little fucked up too. Writers? My boy. My daughter asked me to bring her here, then told me not to stand by her. Guess I'm not cool enough. Oh well. Maybe I should check out that face paint shop when we're done. Yo, I really like how they got all of his outfits. All of his different looks. Yo, I respect it. Even in Calgaria, we honor the Macho King's exceptional slamming chivalry. Oh boy. Hey, let's have a chat. Dude, check out that fridge. Macho Man sure know how to dress. He's like the best parts of the 80s all rolled up into one. Okay, so I respect it. Every, every person that's here to check out the statue has a different reason. All right. Oh, so, so this is the face paint shop. All right. Face to face. That's a good name for a face shop. Hola, amigos. Hmm? Strange. There's nobody here. Maybe they're in the back? Face paint on your feet? What kind of madman would do such a thing? Girl, why would you? You can't beat me. Take it all. Gather the war paint for our overlords. Who the f is this? They're looting the shop? Here's one. Take him alive and we'll melt him down to use this plastic as war paint. Yo, that's f***ed up. Okay, so this is how our matches are. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, I gotta be more careful. There we go. Yeah, let's use the stunner on him. South of the border, stunner. 
Oh, that stunner definitely hit. Oh, I, I missed the rebound, though. That's on me. All right, I do like the button prompts. They switch them around now, so they really keep you on your toes. Oh, boy. All right, he's damaged up. Let's go ahead and get another strike in here. Off the ropes. Got both of them. Let's get it. All right, so I got to pin him now. Okay, I like this. The, the, the fight actually is not that bad. Hey, we stopped this guy from trying to take us out. You ain't using me as face paint, bitch. I should find a shop owner before these damn, these, these wasteland slammers try to melt him down too. Yo, that's crazy. So you, so you, so we got guys out here trying to just melt each other shit, a table. There's only one way through, through one of these table spots. A table lock blocks your path. Unlock the table with a table spot token. Once you find one, reapproach the table to throw a wrestler through it. Table locks and table spot tokens come in three varieties. Single, double, and flaming. <laughs> I like it. Which each table corresponding to the appropriate token. Okay, so I gotta look for a token. What's this chest over here? I've seen this from a distance. Ooh, I got an elbow pad? Okay. All right, we didn't we didn't hit the pause menu yet, so this game definitely looks looks very interesting. I'm gonna hit the hit the save real fast. We got our quest here, our missions. Yo, definitely this game is crack. I really like it. <laughs> nice. We got our gimmicks lined up. Cool, cool. So since it says team and party, that definitely says we could we add more people. So I can't wait to now see that when we get some more people on the squad. All right, so for equipment, equipment. Can I just throw these on or do I am, do I, do I only get to throw on a few things? Oh, it was already equipped. Okay, my fault. All right, so we already got some stuff equipped. It looked like we need some for the waste and something for accessories. But for right now, we got we got a few stuff. Thirty percent, thirty-three percent treasure fine. Okay. Nice action figure speedos. Okay. Nice. So we got a table spot token. This game's not that bad at all. It's just like every other RPG. You know, you get the loot, you get to find some stuff here and there, you get to fight enemies. We just power drive someone through the table. That's that's always lovely. More war paint. Our master demands it. Clutch hold. Hey, stranger. Somebody help. We're being robbed. Someone help the Lego wrestler, please. I got you, bro. All right, let's do it. Oh, I missed it. That was an accident. All right, so that's what it looks like when you miss it. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Get the pin. I really just wanted to see what it looks like when you failed the pin. I will say the meter is a little weird, though, but it's not a bad thing. Nice. We got some duct tape and some experience, of course. All right, so we're a buck fifty away from the next level. Buddy, that was amazing. Are you a superhero? Ha! Superheroes are fake. I'm a pro wrestler. Well, whatever you are, those were some sweet macho moves. Muchos. Yes. Macho moves. I like the sound of that. Those blasted wrestling raiders come down here to get supplies from for their rituals to worship the war road warriors hawking animal. I wish they could 
enable some someone more heroic. Wait, so every person that's raiding is all part of the road warriors. That's fuck. Wait, so I gotta I gotta take out the road warriors, bro? Okay. That's gonna be difficult. They're literally one of the best tag teams ever. Someone more heroic. Anyways, what can I do for you, bud? It's on the house. Amigo, I'm here for a special order. Some samples for an hombre going through an identity crisis. Ah, I know the one. Can't decide between golf or surfer. Here they are. <laughs> wait, wait. Why did he just made the dude sound like he was Sting? <laughs> I just realized that. Thanks, muchacho. <laughs> Return to the neon grave. <laughs> okay, so I learned that. Good luck with that golf surfer guy. All right, so we got some face paint. Let's go ahead and help out this dude, figure out what the fuck he wants to do. Hello, we carry the very best in face paint here, but it doesn't look like your gimmick needs any. I respect that he can tell when a gimmick looks like he needs face paint or not. That that That's really good, honestly. Here, I hope this helps in your quest at BEW. Thanks. Say. What do you think I should choose? Hmm. You gotta go with surfer style. You'll stand out more and it suits a true hero. Go golf, amigo. It'll be more intimidating and mysterious. Fans will love it. Hmm. If I had to pick for him, let's do golf. Thanks. I'll consider that. If you need me, I'll be over here practicing some catchphrases. Okay. So I just helped out the toy version of Sting. Okay, that's cool. I like that. You could kind of tell that like some of the wrestlers, they probably got like the okay and some of them they didn't. Because there's no way in hell you could have all these wrestler mentions in here and, and get away with it. Hey Randy, how'd that job go? I appreciate you doing it. It should strengthen our gym's relationship with BEW. I kind of like that they have their, little, their own little voices and stuff. It was unexpectedly enlightening, sir. Yeah, Boxwood Extreme Wrestling is a trip. They really push an intense vibe, what with all the barbed wire and edgy characters and all. So in other words, I'm pretty much in ECW. I'm, I'm pretty much cooling it up with ECW. I'm with it. But it's what you got to do if you want to compete with the top dogs at PAW, plush in action figure wrestling. I meant enlightening about myself, sir. Great. It's always good to learn more about ourselves and strive to become better. That's enough for day one. Are you closing up again? You bet, sir. Thanks, Randy. It's dedication like that that will take you far. All right, so we got the first quest done. That honestly was not bad. Wait, you sleeping at the gym? Well, then again, they didn't show him at a home, so it kind of makes sense. Please help Mr. Stretch new students, and please help that poor BEW wrestler regain his senses. Amen. What a great day, Macho Man. I feel like I learned so much. I'm convinced, now more than ever, that we must always live out our wrestling spirit, and that the world needs heroes. Good night, Macho Man Randy Savage. Yeah. Macho. Machismo. Oh, that's what he's saying. Macho Muchismo. Look, I didn't say I was perfect at reading, all right, goddammit? <laughs> You're here already? The sun hasn't even put the moon down for a three count yet. Always good to get an early start, sir. Is that a sleeping bag coming out of your locker? See, I knew it. He wasn't supposed to be sleeping in the motherfucker. Doesn't matter. Listen, I got a surprise for everyone. Head over to the ring and we'll get ready. All right, class, stop the flex and turn your necks. Huh, that, that, that's nice. We've got a special lesson for you. Randy, get in the ring. All right, what we learning, what we learning. Today, we'll be learning about managers. Managers always act as party members that provide all sorts of benefits like new gimmicks. Like I said, if I, if, if I know I'm gonna up the word, I'm just gonna skip it. I'm not, not gonna keep doing it. Open the gimmick menu. Now scroll to the right to see your manager's gimmicks. All right, use my power heckle gimmick now. Okay. Oh, that's nice, I like that. 
Pretty cool, huh? Manager gimmicks will cost AP just like your regular gimmicks. They may also have other requirements. These gimmicks can be used by any member of your stable so they can comply your existing abilities by filling in skill gaps. For instance, if you don't have any healing abilities, use a manager who does. That's actually pretty cool. Most managers will always have passive skills that provide bonuses to all members of your stable. They are versatile and powerful components to your stable. Choose them wisely. Okay. Sir, you keep mentioning our stable. Of course not. We may find other slam junkies that can call that you call friend or even brother or sister. We'll talk more about that in today's advanced lesson. Head to the AV room when you're ready. Okay, let's see what we learn. My boy Diamond Dallas Page over here. All right, let's let's see what's here, and then you know I'm think we'll call it on this this episode here. So class, yesterday we talked about how your skills on the mic could impact the hype meter. Even more important than that is what kind of height height type you choose. You know what a height type is, right? Uh, I don't know. I do. It's a type of baby. I swear to God, if you say baby oil. <laughs> I love how he knew I was gonna. I said the same. <laughs> if you say baby oil, I will choke slam you. Yes, Johnny Stretch. That is the exact answer I would give. <laughs> it's how you generate hype, sir. <laughs> Bingo. It's a visual aid that will help the that will help demonstrate this. This is a classic PAW training video I scored from a flea market last month. All right, so we're, we're in a training point. Welcome to PAW's official hype type training video. There are many exciting personalities and styles in the world of pro wrestling, which we'll cover today. Each of these generate hypes with different abilities. For example, the powerhouse type, which Big Daddy squeezes use, builds up the crowd by dealing damage. Okay. Those, those with the showman type, like the magnificent dash talent, will generate hype by taunting and flaunting. Okay, my boys like the Ric Flair of the place. Okay, okay. Sidekicks, like Jack Jacqueline Ace, he likes cheers when they support other units. In other words, he gives you health. <laughs> Wildly technicians puff up the crowd with their keen wrestling ability, which often impacts status effects, allowed the ominous Grim Jim to demonstrate. Grim Jim. Motherfucker. But never underestimate underdogs like Lockchador, because the crowd loves it when they come back against the odds. Ooh, that was that was a nice Hurricanrana right there. You are free to choose a height type of any of your characters. Experiment to find the ones that suit your, your style and strategy. I like that. So I, so I get to pick what kind of style I like. All right, all right. Now I'll be real. Picking out of all these, I'm gonna pick what I would normally pick as my favorite type of wrestlers, which is a technician. I, I always lo love, love technician wrestlers, bro. The skill and, and action work is awesome. By the way, uh, I know this is off topic as hell. Ch go check out New Japan. Check out Brian Danielson versus Zack Sabre Jr. The recent encounter. I promise you, you'll love it. All right, so pros. Nailing button press during combination will generate three plus hype. Pinning in a, an enemy generates five plus hype. Inflicting a debuff generates three plus hype. Dealing Bonus elemental damage generates three height. Okay. Normal attacks deal 15 less damage. Ooh. Well, honestly, that's fine if that's the only con. I can make that work. Okay, that's enough for now. Don't forget your essays on the Poets of Pile Drivers are due on Monday. <laughs> I would be mad as hell if you told me I gotta write an essay. <laughs> Why? Hey, did you guys hear? PAW is supposed to put on a dark match over at Boxwood. Dude, no way. That's incredible. 
Yeah, and from what I hear, it's going to be an open event. Anyone can take part. Here's the catch. Since the event is in Boxwood, you know the BEW is going to try to get their guy in the, into it. Hmm. If BEW will be selecting a fighter, they'll have to choose their championship title holder, right? We, All we have to do is become the BEW champion. Then they'll have to pick us. What makes you think you could become the BEW champion? All I have to do is defeat the current champion, right? Yeah, but BEW would have to work you into the storyline and you'll have to get over more than the current champion and look ombre all i need to do is beat the current bew champion then i could get in the paw dark match and maybe even earn a spot in paw that's not much of a plan my plan is no plan i'm a human torpedo watch out boxwood here i come That guy is crazy. I don't know, man. He's pretty sincere. You can tell he lives and breathes this stuff. He needs to grow up. That's not how the world works. I think his authenticity, his hope is expiring. Attractive even. Maybe a dose of reality in Boxwood will open his eyes. Of course they're gonna doubt me. They're gonna doubt the greats. I promise, I won't fail you. This, this hey, Green. I'm locking up for the day. See you Monday? Actually, Mr. Stretch, do you have a minute? What's on your mind? Sir, I'm ready. Ready to enter the world of pro wrestling. PAW is putting on a dark match over in Boxwood. I plan to become the BEW champion and enter the match for a shot at the big time. I've even got my gimmick picked out. From now on, I will be the Spice himself, the South of the Border Savage, Machismo Man. Oh, see. That's quite the impressive stick, Machismo Man. But it takes more than a gimmick to win in the world of professional wrestling. You got the skills and the heart, kid, but you may not have the wisdom to navigate the tremendous world of professional wrestling. Not, not without losing your soul. My soul? The world of pro wrestling is filled with larger than life heroes and terrible villains. I'm not afraid, Senor Stretch, and my mind is already made up. I have to do this. I know it is, kid, and I know there's no stopping you. So you have my blessing, but take heed. This world has a way of stomping you on goodness. Okay, I did read that right. So be prepared to fight, but keep slamming, and greatness can be yours. Oh, see. Okay, so we're gonna save this here. Um, I really like this game. This game seems very fun. And to be honest, I'm definitely feeling comfortable to make this a series, you know? So who knows? I might make this a series, maybe fit into the, the works of everything, but I hope you guys do like it. If you do like it, please leave a comment below, like, subscribe, let me know, because I'm, I really do wanna keep doing this series. And I think automatically there's gonna be a, a, a episode two, but, until next time, I'm Blade Franco. I'll see y'all later. Yeah.